years in the making, the Brazos Valley now home to a brand new hospital. Good evening, I'm Stephen Romo. And I'm Amanda Kenny. After a lot of planning and construction, Scott and White opened its first hospital in our area and it's ready up, already up and running. Patients started coming through the doors around 5 this morning and as KAG's HD News reporter Jenny Walsh shows us, nurses and doctors are already keeping busy. Meet the newest member of the Marquez family, an eight pound, 10 ounce baby boy born at 909 this morning to Nayla Santi Marquez and her husband. We're very happy that she's got her baby and also that she's had the baby here in this hospital. The first baby born in Scott and White's new College Station Hospital. Very happy and very content and the, the doctors were very professional and just knowing that everything, what they were doing and everything was going well. A planned labor for this mom whose baby has a title that some other moms envy. Even our patients who delivered in the last few months said, oh, I wish the hospital was going to be up and running by the time I delivered. So it's been very exciting for us. A brand new hospital with new equipment to practice in. With a new hospital comes hundreds of pieces of new technology, including these iPhones each nurse carries around so their patients can call them whenever they need. But most any Scott and White employee will tell you it's not the technology that makes their team great, but the team itself. What they can expect when they walk through the front door is warmth, compassion and care. People come here because they have a need and we're here to try to help with that need and uh, just get them back to what they like to do. And for three time mom Nayla, that's raising her new baby boy. That's a very good hospital and she has a very good doctor with Sheila Bonds. Who are ready to get her back on her feet and back home. In College Station, Jenny Walsh, KAGS HD News. What a beautiful baby. Well, the hospital was built with a growing population in mind. The fifth floor can house 24 more beds and the 98 acres the hospital sits on provides plenty of space for expansion.